What's up, everybody? Divine here. I want to talk about Yoimiya because I see a lot of people in the community talking about Yoimiya and a lot of negativity. Um, a lot of people defending Yoimiya, and I want to give my two cents on it as a content creator and speak on my feelings towards Yoimiya and speak on what I think about Yoimiya's kit character, how she is, and the community as it is right now. So, first of all, who is Yoimiya? What's Yoimiya? Um, if you don't know, Yoimiya is an Inazuma character who is part of Naganohara Fireworks Shop, and she is, makes fireworks and is a pyro user. <laughs> pyro bow user. And I don't have Yoimiya. I didn't get her. I did hit five stars. I got D-Luke C2. Congratulations. I don't know why I can around you. I congratulate myself. But no, uh, point being, <laughs> Yoimiya um, is a bow user, and she's pyro, and that alone already puts her into a weird spot. Not because there's pyro bow, better pyro bow users, but because simply enough, look at the pyro DPS we have. Like, if I pull up the archive right now, look at the character archive, right? If I sort this by pyro. Filter, no filter by pyro. Five filters by pyro. Look at this. We have Yoimiya, newest character. We just had Yanfei. Then before that, we had Hu Tao, Shen Yan, Klee, D Luke. And think about that. Four of these units are for five stars. Then Yoimiya, and, and, yeah, and you gotta think about this. Look at these last three five star units who are pyro, right? DPS, DPS, DPS. Look, and then DPS. Shinya is more of a physical character, so she gets away with it. And then you have Yoimiya. And don't get me wrong, Yoimiya's burst is really good uh, at off-field pyro. I will straight up say that. Her burst is really good, I think. But I don't think that's worthy enough for pulling for Yoimiya. And you guys think about it. Most of her, like, you can tell, most of her kit surrounds her, you know, skill and doing normal and charge and normal or charge attacks i'm pretty sure just normal attacks though mainly that's from what i can tell and from what i've played through the test version okay. and so you have this character who's a bow user which most people don't like who does the similar stuff to what other characters do it's like and then on top of that they just announced they already announced ball and kokomi and sara are coming so it's like Simply enough, I think, me personally, the issue with Yoimiya is not her. It's not the character. It's not what she, not anything she does. It's simply enough, where, like, her timing, her element. If she came out before Hu Tao, she'd probably be super popular. Probably be super popular. True, if she came out before Ganyu, she would have been amazing. Everyone loved her. But now that Ganyu's came out... Now that we know Ball's coming out. Now that, now that we already have Hu Tao, D Luke, and Klee, and Yanfei, you know, even if she does hit better numbers than them, the game right now is not demanding for that large of numbers. The game does not, like, you can get anything done. You can get Spiral Abyss done with your Hu Tao. Most of the stuff done with your Hu Tao. And your Klee. And your D Luke. And that for me, or someone, or who are in a similar situation with me, who has a D-Luke at Constellation 2. Like, all I need to do is put artifacts on my D-Luke, and he's good. You see what I'm saying? I have a Pyro DPS right here. I have a C6 Shang Ling. You, you see what I'm saying? Once you, like, we already have enough Pyro damage. Even if, you know, she does more damage, that damage is not needed. So, once you get to that point, it's not about needing damage in big numbers. It's about needing the correct elements. That's why I simply got Ayaka. You see what I'm saying? Because I didn't have Cryo. And so, a lot of people right now don't need Pyro. Nobody right now needs Pyro because we've had so many Pyro DPSs already. And people have already grown attachment to these Pyro characters. If you like Yoimiya, summon for her. I encourage you to summon for the units you like and aesthetically will want to play. But I would say simply enough, 
to everyone, you know, who are like, oh, why, why is everyone, like, being so negative, like, why, oh my god, y'all being so pessimistic, or people who are mad that people are skipping Yomiya, it's simply enough, people don't need Yomiya, but don't be toxic and shame people, or be, you know, be like, oh, Yomiya sucks, Yomiya's trash, because Yomiya isn't trash, it's just Yomiya came at the wrong time. That but so there's gonna be characters who get skipped. Kazuha is amazing, but at the end of the day, is he gonna have amazing numbers? Is everyone gonna summon for him? No, because not everyone needs Kazuha. People are gonna summon for him, people are gonna get him, people are gonna summon for every character. But not every person, not the majority is gonna summon, you know, for this character. But don't go around saying characters suck before you even play them, or just because you play the trial. Because at the end of the day, these characters are what you make of them. If you choose to build your character with level 12 artifacts, you know, half-baked, who fault is it that your character is not hitting good or that you chose HP over crit rate artifacts? At the end of the day, how you build a character is how that character is going to perform. And we can easily just, you, you can easily, I've seen things like free, freaking Overload, right? Yoimiya with Overload comps. And, you know, content creators making builds like that. And that's the point of Yoimiya, Ayaka, and characters going forward. The point is not to be, you know, broken and super good. Or not, not that it's super good, but broken and, like, Ganyu level. Like, oh my god, this character's stronger than Ganyu. That no one's gonna, I think, gonna, ever gonna go past that until way later, right? Right now, we're in a state of the game where it's not about... Like, people needing DPSs or, you know, any type of, you know, thing. It's a more about what do you like? What do you want to play? Do you want an Electro, you know, character? Do you want an Electro character? Oh, two, two are coming next patch. There you go. Do you want a Animo play more? Because I know someone asked for this. I, I remember this at the beginning of the game. People was asking for an Animo Claymore user. There you go. Oh, oh, you want uh oh you want Ayaka. <laughs> Straight up. That's how what people are saying. We want Ayaka. Ayaka. Is she better than Ganyu? Probably not. No, not really. Right? But that's not the point. It's about the choice. It's about having that option. Yoimiya is simply that another option. Right now, Mihoyo is focused on filling out every slot. And every element, even adding multiple, you know, of the same elements in the same weapon slots. Like another pyro bow user, another electro bow user. You know, things like that. And adding more slots that we don't even have, like geo bow users or py like more pyro pull arms. See what I'm saying? Right now, it's not about who is the best and it's not about what is meta. It's about simply, what does the fans want? What do we want to play? Right now, I think Mihoyo is focused on fun, and that's, I think, the better way to focus, because simply enough, then we're going to have more people playing Genshin, more fun events, more enjoyable gameplay, more enjoyable characters who are actually good and viable, and anybody can be used in Spiral Abyss at any time and get shit done. That's just my opinion. But... You know, I think Yomiya is going to be great. I think she's going to be a very prominent pyro character. A very solid option um, to Hu Tao. She's probably not going to out DPS Hu Tao, I think. But she's going to be a nice option. Right under there. Right up there. Right. Doing similar damage. Doing pretty good, decent damage. And clearing Abyss perfectly fine. And making everything look completely easy. The way it is right now. Every character is good. I've seen my Ayaka hit for 30k reverse melts with barely any EM. Wow. Wow. So I'm not going to be surprised if Yoimiya is strong. Every character is strong now. And at the end of the day, I'm not surprised that people don't like her. I'm not surprised that people do like her. But yeah, spread positivity, please. We don't need a bunch of negativity right now. I cannot wait for 2.1 and Ball and the future of Genshin. Yoimiya, 
I cannot wait for her rerun because I'm going to get her again when I have spare primo to do so. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy the video, if you did enjoy me rambling. I just wanted to, you know, speak my mind on this Yoimiya crap because a lot of people are crapping on her and I don't think it's really justified to me. So, yeah. See ya. Um, have a nice day. Good luck on summons and peace.